Yo, it's Sam. My name's Ben, and today we're going to talk about sensory receptors. For our sensory nervous system to be able to interpret and respond to an impulse, first we have to receive it, and we have to perceive it via our sensory receptors. So these are specialized cells to respond to a stimuli. Activation of a sensory receptor will trigger graded potentials. Sensory receptors can be classified according to the stimulus they detect or the location. So when we classify them by stimulus, our categories are mechanoreceptor, which responds to touch, pressure, vibration, and stretch. Thermoreceptor, so thermo, like thermometer, so they're going to respond to temperature changes. Photoreceptor, photo, like a photograph, so this is going to be the retina and the eye, and it's going to be responsible for detecting changes in light. Chemoreceptors. So chemo, chemicals. Chemicals aren't bad. Not all chemicals are bad. Our chemoreceptors are responsible for us sensing the molecules when we taste and smell and also changes in blood or interstitial fluid. And then lastly, nociceptors. They're our pain receptors. So searing heat, extreme cold, excessive pressure. We can also classify our sensory receptors via their location. We have exterioceptors. So these are sensitive to stimuli from outside the body. For example, touch, pressure, pain, temperature receptors in the skin, and most of the receptors of our special senses. Then we have interioceptors, and they respond to stimuli within the body. So they're also called visceroceptors for example, our internal viscera, our internal organs and blood vessels. So these monitor chemical changes, tissue stretch and temperature. They can cause us to feel pain, thirst and hunger. And then we have our proprioceptors. They advise the brain of body movements. So they respond to internal stimuli, but their location is restricted. And they occur in skeletal muscle, joints, ligaments and in connective tissue coverings of muscles and bones. They monitor how much organs containing proprioceptors are stretched. Proprioceptors are important because without looking at my elbow, I, can, I know that I can bend it to 90 degrees. I know I can close my eyes and scratch my nose, scratch the back of my head. As one part of our joint is stretched, then that sends a signal to the brain to know that if that bit's stretched, we've moved in the opposite direction.